Well, we're back as the little bastard literally jizzes himself because he got a Pokemon and, well, at least he uh, thought of giving him his Zigzagoon back, though maybe he shouldn't and I'll explain why a bit later on. So, of course, Wally is now supposed to go to Van Verdanter and now and Norman delivers some very bad news to me. I can't find him right now because supposedly I'm too weak. Well, to be fair, I only have a level 20 combustion. He would wipe the floor with me, especially since he possesses perhaps the one hardest Pokemon in the entire game to bring down, that being his slacking. And so yeah, I need four gym badges in order to challenge him, so it's not going to be for quite a while. So we're going to drop by Wally's house to see how the preparatives are, are coming along. And, well, his father and mother are here, but we don't see him. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Apparently, Waldo is called Wally. And he already left! Wally already left without his parents? So, w wait a second. Wally is so frail and sickly, he catches swine flu just from walking five steps. Oh, and we got another intrusive subplot in the way here. I don't remember that guy's name right off the bat, but surely I'm going to get 20 people in the comment section saying me his name. But yeah, he's the guy who runs the battle frontier, so he, is, he searches for strong trainers in order to take on the battle frontier challenge but anyway before that intrusive subplot reared its ugly head i was talking about how um wally is so frail and sickly and yet he goes to verdanter a faraway city on his own well at least i suppose that there are no loose boxes that can potentially crush him but that just means it's only one notch above my own ride in the back of that truck what is with Hoenn parents and their complete lack of parenting skills? I, I always said that if you are not going to care about your children, don't make them! Though, judging from what I've seen so far, the Hoenn population would be pretty close to zero if they did that, so there would be no game to play, so I guess that's out of the question there. But that's not the only thing that hurts me about that whole Wally thing is because you see my Ralts is learning confusion at level 6. Wally caught a Ralts at level 5 and the next time we see Wally he still only has that one Ralts but at level 16. So explain to me if it cannot kill a single Pokemon how in the Holy mother of God, does he manage to level up his routes anyway? This makes no sense at all! Just think about it! And that's not all. To get to Verdant Turf, Wally needs either Rock Smash to get through Rust Turf Tunnel, or Surf to get through that river that was just past where I fought May the first time. So, of course, routes can't do either. So how does he get to Verdanter anyway? So that's why I, I said that he should have kept that Zigzagoon a little while longer because he can literally not do a damn thing with a level 5 Rouse. So I guess you could say that Rouse was nothing more than a poison gift. As an auxiliary Pokemon, as long as you have something to level it up with, then it's just fine. But as your only Pokemon, you cannot do anything. And judging by what this guy said, smells like Magikarp, yep. And, oh, hang on a minute. I think I may have an idea as to how he leveled up his routes. You see Magikarp doing Splash, and routes would spam Growl like absolute crazy. And once it, it would be out of Growl PP, it would start struggling, and Magikarp would still have some Splash. PP left and I think well it depends on whether it was in this generation or the fourth one that they changed the mechanics behind struggle so that the recoil is a quarter of your max HP instead of just a percentage of the, of the damage you do but if it's generation 4 then 
it would be logical and possible for a route to beat a magic card and gain some experience that way. And this is Mr. Briny's cottage. There's nothing to do here for now as Mr. Briny is in the Rustboro area. But unfortunately, I need Mr. Briny's help to get south to Duford. And, oh, I've already talked to that guy. And yes, there are two ways I could go to Duford. By surfing there, and I only get the ability to use surf once I beat a certain gym leader. And I'll give you a hint, it's the one I took my leave of just now. And oh, just how fun it is to switch against the Poochiena, I can't sleep. I am going to be doing this a lot before Mo Mobile, so get yourselves ready because there's going to be a lot of switching around even now that my route has obtained confusion. And the second way I could get to Duford is by asking Mr. Briny to uh, take me there. But sadly, Mr. Briny, I'm going to have to do all kinds of things just to get to him, so it's not like it's a much better option, but it's still the one that the story takes me towards. So Mr. Briny it is, so all those sea routes are gonna have to wait until I get served, and there are five of them, five rather long sea routes that go from uh, the vicinity of, uh, of uh, not Bird Enter, but Petalburg, and you know, you saw that beach right there? That's where the sea routes start off, and they go all the way to the beach next to Slaveport. And that's a pretty long ride there by Sir. And naturally, since I'm going to do everything in the game, that means I'm going to have to do all those uh, sea routes eventually, preferably once I get right after I get Sir. And oh, I love that that tackle missed after he lowered my defense twice. It could have actually hurt a lot had it actually connected. But anyway, there was a thing or two I wanted to say about Ranger 3 that I didn't get to say last time. Turns out that the special thing about that Deoxys is indeed a special move. Though, uh, some people have speculated that the way Cerebi worded it, it could also mean that there's one special move perform, much like Rotome, except that the, the move you get depends on which form you catch in Ranger 3, and after you get that move, you can't change the move the same way you would by changing appliances with Rotome. But personally, I think different attacks part of what Cerebi said means that... OUCH! That hurt a lot. Did I mention Rouse has horrible stats? But anyway, I think the different attacks bit meant the attacks from the Deoxys that you challenge in Ranger 3, not the attacks that it would have once you download it to one of the main games. And one more thing to a Pichu with a ukulele. I mentioned that last time, but just think about it for a second. Is there anything Pichu can't do? I mean, there was there were a few fake Pichu forms that uh, uh, Nico CW of the Speed Gamers forums made up just for fun. Before the Ranger 3 announcement, there was there were such things as the Pichu with a boot on its head that knew self-destruct, the the Pichu with armpit hair that knew snore, and the Pichu with six butt cheeks that knew rapid spin. And I think a Pichu with a ukulele would feel right at home there actually. Yeah, you can tell that I think this is a terrible idea. Unless the ukulele turns out to be a Pokemon on its own. And wait, scratch that. It would suck just as much, if not if not more, a ukulele Pokemon. Did I did I think I just made up the stupidest thing ever. So now I'm just going to heal up my route since well, with two HP I'm not going to go very far in that forest now, can I? And by the way, if you couldn't tell, Petalburg Woods is the mandatory early forest dungeon following in the footsteps of Viridian Forest, Ilex Forest, and there's also Eterna Forest in Sinnoh that uh, pretty much follows the same formula. So I'm gonna just gonna go down that beach, it's gonna go a little faster, I'm not gonna need to go inside that grass and possibly meet a Poochiana that would stall me some more! And I'm going to actually do the woods next time. Whoa! I didn't want to trigger that fight. I'm sorry for that. 